go. Now the card. mouth in the world is a circle with triangles in the center. The easiest thing in the world. Yet it always looks good. Maybe I'm just having this crazy idea. These are the eyes. Crazy. Maybe the body is down right here. Hmm. I just had another crazy idea. I don't know if I can pull it off. Here it comes. Crazy spikes right there. Well, right away that I know I want to give him a special ability. Cause you know what that looks like, makes me think of? It looks kind of like a Medusa. So let's see how do we do this special ability? Here it goes. This is a female, Medusa. She attacks. And a one or two is rolled. The chosen. Let's see. Chosen, yeah. Loses a turn. Description those who look are 
stunned. Okay, look at that crazy looking creature. That's so weird. Well, we already know, we know it is flower medusa type plant. Cost, damage, and health. And I still gotta finish that background. What kind of background should it be? <laughs> well, it is kind of a plant like environment. Maybe I'll put some trees in here. There's some leaves. There's another big old tree. Some crazy roots. background horizon line comes right here there's another tree right there not too many trees we don't want too many trees some birds Maybe some insects in that area right there okay in that background that's going to be grass color this thing in. Ooh, what color should it be? Thinking green or purple. Purple. Sure, it would be weird, wouldn't it? Let's see, how's that purple look like? Oh, that's kind of weird. Oh, let's use it anyways. Gonna shade in the eyes. I want them to look white. And the flower. I want the center to be yellow. And the leaves to be green. And let's use a brighter green. Trees back there, they will have darker green for their leaves. And brown for the tree trunks. And its mouth. I kind of want that to be red, but I don't want it to be very dark, so I'm not going to shade it in very, very much. Just a tiny bit of red. Okay, now we know that in the background is grass, I'll we'll color it in the grass green. There, thinking that should also be green, but a different shade of green. I use this darker green, which is called oh, green. It just says green. Okay. Okay. Then the sun is going to be yellow. Do you want to make this a sunset or not? I have decided it will not be a sunset. This is during the day, it's just regular old sky. Oh, just 
broke my pencil again. I'm good at breaking pencils. Okay. sky back there. Doesn't have to be perfect. And we make it darker at top. It slowly gets lighter as so it gets to the center of the picture. Okay, look good there. Now we need to color in a few things. One being, oh, we gotta give him his damage, cost, and health. Damage and health. Well, I think, I think it's not necessarily that high of damage. Damage three, but its health looks really high to me. I'm thinking its health is five. So to determine cost, 5 plus 3 is 8, minus 1 is 7, but it has a stage 2 special ability, so we add 2 onto that, so that equals 9. Cost equals 9. Okay, now the special ability section always is colored in yellow. So that's the special ability in color, yellow. Now it is plant, so we want to color in the rest of it, the borders, green. Here we go, green borders. Down here, lightly shade in the boxes. And take that card and throw it in a deck protector sleeve. And then, there we have it. This is the flower, Medusa.